old buildings are not seismically resistant. Uh, Canadian National Building Code uh, started implementing seismic design provisions starting with late 70s and early 80s and many of our older infrastructure are vulnerable against seismic forces. Here is a good example uh, because it is made out of concrete block masonry and masonry buildings are typically brittle behavior buildings and we want ductility from our structures during response to absorb seismic induced energy. This wall did not have any reinforcement in it so we had to cut pieces near the end where the reinforcement would be effective. We inserted rebars and poured concrete so essentially turned this into reinforced concrete masonry but another form of failure and which is dominant in masonry walls is shear failure. Shear results in diagonal cracks along the surface of the wall. To prevent that we use this high strength material, fiber reinforced polymer sheets, FR, known as FRP sheets, and it's epoxy glued on the wall to control shear. So we have a foolproof system where FRP is controlling shear cracking and rebars inside are contributing towards flexural resistance, moment fending resistance. What are some kinds of buildings that would have this concrete block structure to begin with? Typically, old residential buildings, schools, even nowadays we use quite a few uh, block walls in, in school construction. Uh, old hospitals, these are uh, post-disaster facilities that we have to pay attention to. Um, nowadays we don't design unreinforced masonry in, in earthquake prone areas, but older buildings do have uh, brittle masonry blocks and bricks, unfortunately.